Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, we're just going to draw a simple floor plan uh, like we've learned in the previous tutorials. And I'm going to show you how to kind of make our 3D model look a lot nicer than it has in the past. So we just drew these walls. Now we'll add a floor to it. Uh, so we'll come over here to the surface. And we'll just add a floor to the inside of this. And the reason I'm doing this is because I actually want to make it look pretty. So maybe this isn't uh, if the goal is just to send this to like the planning and zoning department or to a, a contractor to give you pricing, then you might not need to do this. But if the goal is to show this to like an interior designer or a client that wants to know what it's going to look like, like an idea of what the room's going to look, like, look like when it's done, you might want to make it look a little nicer than just like shades of white and gray. So in the last video, we learned that we can come over here and we can drag in like a bathtub and it'll appear in our model here. Let's grab something that has more contrast so we can see it better. Let's grab in the uh, bedroom, let's click this bunk bed here. So this bunk bed we can put right in the middle. If we double click on it, we can we have all these different options we can control. Well, the same thing is true, if we just delete this, of the actual floor and the actual walls as well. So if we double click this floor, it brings up some different options. Another way to get into that too, by the way, for anything, for the bunk bed or the floor, is just to right click on it. And we have all these different options. Uh, and one of them is modify furniture in the bunk beds case. That's the, the same as double clicking on it. Or if we right click on this floor, we can go modify, uh, not compass. What do we do on this one? Oh, we select the floor first. Then we can right click and we go modify rooms. And that modifies this particular room that's selected. So again, either way works, right clicking or double clicking. Uh, so I just, uh, I'm in here now, and we can change this floor the way this looks. So we have our floor. We have an option, do we want to even display the floor? So right now it's checked. We're saying, yeah, display the floor. Uh, ceiling, so there's, it's not really displaying the ceiling because we're kind of seeing through it, but we could, we'll see what that looks like. But first of all, if we want to add a texture to this floor, under texture, we just click here, and we have all these different options for textures. Maybe we want to make it uh, a tile floor, so we can come down. There's all kinds of different tile, but we can do this blue tiles here, and it shows a little preview of what it looks like. Uh, and we can change the way it is applied, but we'll just leave everything the way it is now, and we'll hit OK. And it creates a tile floor. We hit OK again, and now this floor becomes tiled. So now if we zoom in here, we can see we have a nice tile floor in this space. And um, it changes the way it looks up here a little bit as well. If we want to change that to something else, we can just double click and select a different texture like this wood floor and hit OK, and then it becomes a wood floor. So that's how we would change the floor. The same thing is true of the walls. So if we select a, a wall, like this certain wall here, which is I think this back wall, and we double click, the walls are a little bit different. The wall has like, a, there's two different sides of the wall, right? And this calls it a left side and a right side, because it doesn't necessarily know what's the interior and exterior of the wall. And sometimes a wall is drawn on the inside of a house. For example, let's just do that. Let's make a little sub room in here. So we'll make a room within a room. And then we see, hit the escape key. So this particular wall right here, go back to my selection tool, select this wall. If we double click this wall, it's like, all right, there's two sides of this wall. And it just calls it uh, a left side and a right side. So it says, what color do you want the left side to be? Well. The color of the left side, let's make it, uh, we can click on this color and we can choose, how about green? And we hit OK, or hit OK here first, and we hit OK here. And that makes this wall green. But if we come around and look at the other side of it, it's still white or uncolored. So if we double click this and we go to color, we can click this and make this side blue. And we go OK and OK. And now that's blue and that's green. So now we can do our different colors that way. See that? If we want to do two walls at once, if we want to do like maybe this whole room, so we can, uh, actually I don't know if that'll, how exactly that'll work. We might have to do individual walls together, but let's try. So if we select this wall and then hold down the shift key and select all these different walls. Oh uh, yeah, so the problem we're running into now as far as coloring these walls is that we have different. So this wall here, it's the way, because of the way we drew it, we drew this big um, square first and then we did some sub walls in there. So this is an entire wall all together. So if we go to color, if we want to color just the inside of this room blue, it's going to color that whole wall. So we go to, uh, I don't know what side it is, if it's, I think it's the right side actually. And we color this yellow. 
it's going to turn uh, that whole wall yellow, the whole thing, even though that wall is kind of dividing it there. So to do that, we'd actually want to split this wall. If we want to color it differently, we would actually split this wall up. Um, and to do that, we can click. I wonder if there's another. I know a way to do it, but I think there's a way we can go. Yeah, split wall right here. So we go to plan and then click split wall. And it splits it where the intersection is already happening. So now we have two separate walls we can select. So we can actually change just this one. We double click and we change it to a more of a green color. And we hit OK. And now we've got green in this part of the room and then yellow in this part of the room. So again, to, to, to separate that wall out, we go to plan and then split wall. Uh, but yeah, I, what I really want to show is that just walls and the floor, and I think we can split floor too. I wonder when the floor is selected, plan, can we do that? Break out the floor into a different thing. If we go modify rooms, it brings up this. Uh, I'll have to look into that. There might be a way to do that, but I think really what we do is just draw a separate floor. So for this one, we would just double, uh, not double click. While it's selected, we just change the point. So we change this point to be over here instead. Uh, if I can get it to go. And then we just double click in to add a new point. Can we add a new point in here? Uh, yeah, so we right click on it and then we go add points to room and it adds a point in right here. And then we right click again and we go add, uh, add points to room. So I'm really just changing the shape of this now. And so now we have our floor here and then we would go up to the floor tool or the surface tool and we would draw a separate floor for this room. So that's how we would accomplish that and hit the escape key. And that's how we would accomplish, uh, oops, escape. Uh, we come back to our selection tool. That's how we would accomplish creating a separate texture for this floor. So we go to texture and then this one can be like blue tiles. And then we have blue tiles in here and then wood floor here. And again, to change that, we just go in. We can make the floor just a solid color if we wanted to also, just as a concept, green. So that's adding textures and colors to walls. Um, and, then this, and then we can do the ceiling too. I was going to show you that. So if we double click this, we see there's a ceiling also. If we want to come down for the ceiling texture and add um, marbles or whatever, let's do wall rough cast as our ceiling texture. And we hit OK. So we don't see anything here. But when we get into actually view, so we can change. I think we talked about this in the last video. If we change our view, we can right click and go to virtual visit and that puts us inside the house. I'll resize this so we can see. It puts us inside the house. So right now we're inside this room with the blue tiles. We can just walk through walls by using our arrow keys and we can move through the wall. And if we look up, we see, aha, there's how we see that ceiling texture. So we see what that ceiling is. And if we double click up here, we can change it, change the ceiling texture to uh, gray tiles and it'll change the way the ceiling looks in here to gray tiles. And if we want to change the floor, we double click, change the floor to a texture and make it this kind of thing. Now we have a floor down here, a ceiling here. And so you can do it while you're in the virtual uh, visit. You can change that as well. But just know if you're in aerial view, to change that view again, we right click and go to aerial view. So if you're in aerial view, you don't see the ceiling, but the ceiling is there, just so you know. So we have floor and ceiling every time we draw a surface or that, a room. Uh, okay, well, that's all I want to show you in this video. Go ahead and play with that. You can create really cool, you know, textures. You, and we can import. We'll learn that pretty soon, too. We can create our own textures and import them in or download. There's a lot of free textures online you can download so you can actually get a certain type of carpet. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, in fact, that'll be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll do that in, in a future video. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, hopefully that's been informative for you and you found a way that you can apply and use this knowledge. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next video.